Love's redeeming work is done. Hallelujah. Fought the fight, the battle won. Hallelujah. Death in vain forbids him rise. Alleluia. Christ has opened paradise. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We celebrate the Mass of Thursday in the second week of Easter. In this Mass, we pray for the repose of the soul of Francis Fernandez, Alvaro Olvera, Mariano Garcia. Let us now take a moment in our hearts as we bring our private petitions to the altar of sacrifice. We also call to mind our sin and ask God for pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our high priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you, free us from our sins. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please sit for the readings. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought in the apostles, and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teachings and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than man. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and the forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given us, has given to those who obey them. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Be to 
Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy re remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers them. The Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry, cry of the poor. Because you have seen me, says the Lord, blessed are those who have not seen but still believe. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The one who comes from above is above all. And the one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard. But no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to Him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> As part of the requirement for the award of a bachelor's degree in law, some time ago, not too long, I wrote a thesis call it a thesis in my country, some call it project, some call it capstone. And the title was Superior Interest and Its Impact in the Administration of Justice in Nigeria, which is my home country. I know the question someone could ask from among us could be, in, who is this superior? Who is the superior? In many egalitarian societies, in many societies where people are equal, 
actually the superior in relation to political affairs will be the people. Because it is the people who elect people to Congress. It is the people who elect their leaders, the governor, the president. But in many developing countries, the superior is actually the other way around. It's because people take up power, become dictators, tyrants. And they are not accountable to the people who should be the superior. So in exploring this topic, superior interest and its impact in the administration of justice, the rest are on record because the paper is there. And this thesis stands also to compare with what many people hold in our time when they ask the question to whose interest is a particular law made. Because sometimes laws, some people allege that it is meant for the interest of the lawmaker. Because sometimes they know, you know, when they consider whatever they feel is politically right, they make these laws to protect those interests. It is for us, the people, who can call and ask why this law Referring that question to your congressman or woman. Why this? Why that? And sometimes when pressures come beyond their perhaps expectations, certain laws are called back, either modified, changed, or completely removed. I am talking about the law today because... The first reading referred to what happened after Peter and the other apostles were arrested and thrown into jail and they came out. They said the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin. The high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders that you should stop teaching in that name. Whose interest? The interest of this Sanhedrin, the interest of the court official, the interest of the judges, or the interest of the people. In the gospel, Jesus says, the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he, had, he has seen and heard. Well, Peter and the other apostles are testifying to what they have seen and what they have heard. And what is it about? The resurrection. These are information considered from above, from on high. They are not earthly, so they are not protecting the interests of the powers that be. They were not protecting the interests of the Sanhedrin. They were protecting the interest of the people. And they wanted everyone to hear this word, to come to repentance, conversion, and restoration. My brothers and sisters, on a day like this, when this kind of word is brought our way, God tells us to reflect on how we live, on how we conduct our affairs, on whose interest we protect we should, as God's children, protect the interest of what is good, what is beautiful, what is right. It may not be impacting directly on either the low class, the middle class, the high class, but as long as anyone within these classes stand to what is true, what is good, what is beautiful, let it be that the interest we protect in what we say and in what we do be for the good of what is good, what is true, what is beautiful. Because when we do, it resonates with the plan of God for us and in the long run brings about happiness of individuals, people who love what is right, what is good, what is beautiful, 
in our communities. And that is the message that Jesus has brought to us to bring salvation to anyone who cares about what is good. Let us come into what is good. Let us live what is beautiful. And let us work for what is right in our communities. Please stand. Confident in the Lord's care for us, we bring our petitions to him. For the church, may God grant each believer the grace to live faithfully as his children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all elected officials, may God convict their hearts of the truth and empower them in the service of peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those who are persecuted for their faith. May God protect them and reward them for their faithfulness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Lord be our guiding light in every step that we take. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, Marked with the sign of faith, may God welcome them into his eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of this Mass. For the repose of the soul of Francis Fernandez, Alvaro Evera, and Marciano, or Mariano Garcia, brother of Victor Garcia. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those intentions that we hold in the quiet part of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty God and Father, may we be motivated every day by the word we hear to stand for what is good, what is right and beautiful. And as we come to you, bless us and accept the petitions we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. Every spirit crushed, God will save, will be ransomed for their lives will be safe shelter for their fears and will hear the cry of the poor the lord hears the cry of the poor Blessed be the Lord, we proclaim your greatness, O God, your praise ever in our mouth, every face brightened in your light, for you hear 
the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus. Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deo Sabaoth, Pleni Sun Celi Etera, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, Qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John, and Ramon, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, I be you. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And may we share the sign of peace. And you stay, we all is peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay, we all is peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay. We all is peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy, shint on my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Sweet to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Have a good rest of your day. Eucharistic minister. To be your bread now, be your wine now, Lord, come and change us. To be a sign of your love, blessed and broken, poured and flowing, gift that you gave us. To be your body once again. Lord, we stumble through the darkness of night. Lead us now, O Lord, we follow. Bring us home to you. To be your bread now, be your wine now. Lord, come and change us. To be a sign of your love. Blessed and broken, poured and flowing, gift that you gave us. To be your body once again.